And you start off with one that I didn't even know existed. And this sounds so cool, but you can rent a snow globe and skate at Pineland Farms. You can call ahead to uh, rent your snow globe a day before, two days before, and then um, you get to be out on the grounds inside this cool dome with your family. It sit, seats up to six people. There's a space heater inside. You can bring a game. You can order food from the Pineland Market. And then afterwards, if you want, you can go skating. They have, they've got a new rink. And, um, and I think they limit it to 22 people. And then they also have a skating pond for littler ones. Next on your list here, this is something that you've uh, fairly recently gotten involved with, Teens to Trails. How yes. do people access that? Yeah, so Teens to Trails is a nonprofit in Brunswick and they benefit high school outing clubs through programming and grants and gear donations. But one of the cool things they're doing now is on their website, they have a link to free and discounted activities throughout the state of Maine. And there's some really good resources there. One of my favorites is um, the Ski Mountain. Black Mountain is offering free snowshoeing and free Nordic skiing on Fridays throughout the winter until the end of March, which is really a cool thing. Great way for anyone to sort of dip their toes into that, especially teens. That's great. Yeah, exactly. Number three on your list here, take advantage of your local land trust properties. Right, so the Maine Land Trust Network also on their website has a link to, you can just search by your hometown and find out what's accessible to you. Uh, my family likes to take little road trips on the weekend so we can kind of get a change of scenery. And uh, we recently went to um, the Belfast Rail Trail, which falls under that land trust uh, property. And that starts at a 19th century steam engine that used to go from Belfast to Moosehead Lake and you walk along the river and it's just about a two mile walk into the town of Belfast and you get to the bridge in town and there's just beautiful views of the water and um, and then you just head back and it's it's great because it's also wheelchair accessible um, so it's a great option if you're looking for some place new to you to walk. A lot of people through this pandemic are just itching for that getaway, which is a little tough to do right now, but you can do a weekend winter getaway in a yurt. Yes, yeah. So we tried this place out, it's owned, it's called Maine Forest Yurts in Durham and it's owned by Bob Crawley, who's a former survivor winner and his wife, Peggy, and they're both so lovely. And when you go, um, the yurt is fully outfitted with bunk beds and um, futon and a kitchen. You can bring food um, and kind of hunker down. There's a wood stove, so it's really cozy and warm. And you can snowshoe outside or even uh, go skating on the pond there, run around pond. All very exciting. Okay, this one kind of rounding off the list, you can take a moonlit stroll on Scarborough Marsh. Yep, yep. So my husband and I did this recently together and you go towards the end of the day, just before the sun is about to set and you just see this incredible full moon rise above Scarborough Marsh. You have to bundle up, you have to mask, uh, but it's well, it's well worth it. You know, if you bring a camera, and or a good phone camera, you can get just gorgeous shots of the moon rising. And I think that's happening through the Eastern Trail Alliance um, end of this month and end of February as well. 